to our Yale Magnet. So these are the first students who are in our Magnet program, English language learners. And this is Paula who's doing uh, some coding like that. Cool. So these are your shop. Right, that's Org started. Okay, and, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So, so this is more of a, a fun this program. Is a work it's, not, it's not the actual curriculum, it's right. more of a fun thing. Yeah. So, what's the curriculum? Um, grade seven, I do three units, and they're learning how to do um, websites and apps, okay. and stuff like that. Yeah. Then, in eighth grade, I do the next three less uh, units, four through six, yeah. and it, it takes off from where they left off. In the oh, first three lessons, yeah. it does more problem solving. Yeah. Um, they get those little, um, I don't even know what they're called because I haven't used them yet. It's in yeah. unit six. Um, but um, they're little things that they can plug things into and they can make it act like a cell phone. So they can beep and it can flash lights yeah. and, and they code it to do certain things yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Absolutely, getting getting them familiar with it. Some of them will like it, some of them won't. But but yeah, at least they're familiar with it, and they can choose later on whether they want to do it or not. Yeah, and it's it's very simple. They they like blocked everything, so so they just drag the blocks over, and if they put them in the right order, whatever it is they're trying to do works. So exactly, exactly. So it's still new here, but yeah, second year doing it. <laughs> You're welcome.
But if you put it outside of that bracket, it's not going to work, right? You've got to put it inside the bracket. Um, so I teach two classes with a 3D printer. One is for sixth grade. It was a combined class with Woodshop. And they, we do like the whole engineering design process. Asking questions and researching and right. imagining ideas, that whole thing, planning it out. Um, so, like some of the silly little projects we do, but they think it's fun, are um, like they can make bubble wands, right. but they have to think the whole process through. Uh, and like I said, I combine with Woodshop, so they design um, toys. And this this kid actually, by asking his wheels weren't um, yeah. round, but it actually came out kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we do that, um, and then one of the construction classes, this is brand new this year, yeah. um, I also do it with um, a woodshop teacher, and um, they're actually designing real walls, right. stud walls, and, and um, but we're, just, we're doing the planning in here with the 3D printer, and then like I bought little dollhouse lights so they could string it through and see how the electrical yeah. oh, will work. Great. We've got the holes here so they're going to be able to do plumbing. In fact, that's what I'm printing here is one of the little sinks, yeah. okay. and they're going to put the sink in front of it, and then we'll teach them about the, uh, the P-trap. and. Yeah. So we have little bendy straws yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> that will attach to that. So they can kind of learn about it in here and then they go into his class and they actually build it and do it. So they're on the electrical part there. So in here we're learning plumbing so that then they'll know it when they get in there. But also this technique, what I'm hearing from increasingly in advanced manufacturing and construction places, is the capacity of the purse allows you to really go at the actual building of the device or the, the, the uh, whatever it is, the building, um, with a kind of one shot. You've got it all planned, you've got, and you make few, many fewer mistakes in the actual process. Well, and just like architects would get yeah. their, their miniatures, sure, and right. now they can do it on a 3D printer right. instead of, yeah. It's amazing. So. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's fun. It is. It is. The kids love well, and I would feel too this
that's on schedule too. So as you yeah, you probably need that like eight days. Look at a list of what's your name. Is this the only time you do coding? Or do you do coding in other parts of your life too? Do you like it? Is um, that just saying that there's a class there? You are not going to just let yourself get into it. You have to start it. Everybody needs to go to the And you can do a lot. You can solve lots of problems. It's nice to talk to you. I like to get back to the Yep. Yep. So, yeah. It's fun. 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 It's So that's the one time we get to use our cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> dance from all the little lessons and now it has to be the what do you mean I can't just say I'm done. Yeah. So we're working in the hard part right now. Yeah. Okay. okay. So good morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Hi guys. It's okay if she wants to. It's okay. She can hide. Hiding is fine. Do you want to, do you want me to do you want me to have them do introductions? I would love that. Sounds Spaders, would you like to introduce yourselves? Or do you want me to introduce you? You can have me do it. But if you want to take off your headphones for a second. And I'm going to say, Jansen, can you say who you are and where you're from and what language you speak? Oh, I know. The one who's never quiet. <laughs> you're going to do it? Do you want me to do it? Can I introduce you? Can I introduce you? <laughs> you know, we're just, we're just asking because both Mayor Craig and I and Ms. George here all represent you and we want to understand best about all the people we represent. That's all. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. How many of you speak Spanish? Raise your hands. Okay. Spanish. How many of you speak Swahili? How many of you speak Karanda? Okay. Karanda. Karanda. I know I always... Well, Karanda. Well, I hear you wonder Karanda, Rwanda, and they're all the same language depending on the child who tells me. No. Yeah. Rwanda is the country. Kenya Rwanda is the language. Okay. Uh-huh. And then there's been a few other ones. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, there's some, some dialectical variations. I've had students argue about it before. Yeah. <laughs> so we have a variety. So we have Puerto Rico, El Salvador, Guatemala, Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, Burundi. Thank you. Burundi, Guatemala, Rwanda, Burundi, Dominican, Dominican, Rwanda, Burundi. Okay. Okay. And I used to also have that's my other class that has it from Tanzania and Uganda, and they move between them, so it depends on what day they tell me what country. So, do you want to talk about the coding? Anyone having fun with code, or might or should we go back to multiplication? <laughs> Are we having fun? No. Do you like this? What do you like about it, Joyce? Okay. Yes. 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 Yes.
Maybe we could just yeah, please do. Yeah, definitely. Please do. Oh, no. So that's okay. Please definitely feel free to observe, ask them what they're coding, see what song they chose. Um, basically, there's a roster of 20 songs, and they have to code the dancers. So what'd you get yours to do? Ooh, I like it. With a unicorn. Definitely more orange than that pine nice. was. Good. Did you pick the song? Yeah. 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 Have a look at the computer screen. He gets a picture of you just working really hard. Those are the pictures they like. Go over here to see what's in the background back right there. Now, do you want it to be changing or do you want it to be the same? Okay, so what we're going to do. So now, remember how we have it repeat? Oh, yeah. You got one of those, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we are going to go back. Is this? I don't know if you want to go back. Yeah, I know Because right now, the only thing you're telling it to do is change the background every four measures. Do you want them to actually change their dance? Because you're having them just do the body roll. So you're going to listen to the entire song with that unicorn body rolling? No? So maybe we might need to take another event one out and have the dancer. Remember how you have the backgrounds changing every four measures? You can do take another one of those out and you put the dance and that let the dance change. And it doesn't need to be four measures, you can have it be all everything else. Where do you select the language So go over here under events and you can get another pink one. Put it down, and you can put it over here, you can put it wherever you want to put it. As long as it's on the workspace, you, you're good. So now what do you want to do? So go into, are you going to take that? Yeah, maybe take that one out. Sure. Okay, so now what do you want it to do? Do you want to do the body roll first? I'm going to switch. Okay, now you can have it jump around, or you can have it do the next one. It's going to go in this order, or you can have it just do whatever. Okay, so now try to Okay. Now, it's going to change dance every four measures. 
Now, you can also have it change dance if you wanted to, if you went into That's good. the events. Remember how we, we saw the old one where when the up key is changed and when the bass peaks? If you wanted to do it with the music, you can pick a music thing and you can say, I want this to do it. Um, <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to have it try and do it with the music. So whenever there's a lot of music, it's going to change its thing. So now it's doing it whenever there's bass. So you go and you figure out, is that how many dancers you, you want it all to be unicorns? Do you want all these unicorns? Go! What are you doing? Girls, why don't I say goodbye now and then before I go, I'll talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for hosting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Good work. Go to pre-algebra.